Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Mr. Teddy's Pre-K. Today, we're going to talk about creatures that you would see in the ocean. We're going to talk about what their names are. Well, hey, Mr. Teddy. Yes, go ahead. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. We're going to learn about ocean creatures, creatures that live in water. I think I'm an ocean creature. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mr. Teddy, honey, you're not an ocean creature. You're a bear. And bears usually live in the forest or the woods. But you live here with us, so. Oh, oh, you want to live in the ocean? Well, honey, you can't live in the ocean. We'll talk more about that later, okay? Would you like to look at this ocean book with us? All right, go sit in your little chair. What? Yes, we'll, we'll show everybody your little chair one day, okay? Friends, we're going to do a book walk through this book, A House for Hermit Crab. It was written and illustrated by Eric Carle. He's that very, very, very famous author and illustrator. What's cool is that on the back of this book, you can see him. Do you see him right there? That's the man that created this book. If I look at the front cover, I see a shell with a spiral on it and a little red crab. Do you see him? On the front cover, he's very big. But on the back cover, I see a small hermit crab. Let's see what we can learn about ocean animals today. Here we go. A house for hermit crab. Time to move said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. When a Hermit Crab starts to grow, he's got to find a new place to live. That shell protects his body. And as his body gets bigger and bigger and bigger, he needs a bigger shell. So here he goes out of his shell to look for a bigger shell. In February, he found just the house he was looking for. Do you see that very big, big spiral shell? I like it, but it looks plain. Do you know what plain means? It means kind of simple or boring. I wonder what he's going to do to make it less plain. In March, he met some sea anemones. Oh, that's a hard word to say. Sea anemones. Sea anemones look like plants, don't they? But they're not. They're actually animals or creatures. Would one of you be willing to live on my house? He said. I would, said a teeny tiny sea anemone. So he picked him up gently and put him on his shell. He's decorating his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish. Would one of you decorate my house? Said Hermit Crab. I would, said a teeny tiny starfish. Do you see him right there? So very carefully, Hermit Crab picks him up and puts him on his shell. Now he has two things decorating his shell. Do you see it? Say, see an enemy? Good. And starfish. Good. Next, he comes across some coral. Now look at this picture, guys. They look like plants, don't they? But they're not. They're actually growing creatures. They're animals. It's called coral. Can you say coral? Coral comes in all different colors. This coral is brown. I've got some real coral here that my son brought me from Hawaii. Look, here's some white coral. Do you see it? Now it's not alive anymore. It's sort of like a rock now. It's kind of rough and scratchy, but isn't it beautiful? Hermit crab found some coral and he said, would one of you come live on my house to make it more beautiful? said a little piece of the crusty coral. 
So he picked it up and put it on his shelf. You see the coral right there? In June, Hermit Crab came to a little group of snails. You see all those snails on that rock? What do you think Hermit Crab's going to ask? Yes, he asks them, would any of you come and live on my shell? Because what snails do, my friends, is they eat all the dirt and debris on the ground. They kind of clean it up. So if he puts a snail on his shell, that's going to keep it clean. One of the snails said yes. So Hermit Crab put it on his shell. Do you see the little snail? Right there. In July, Hermit Crab came upon some sea urchins. Ooh, look at those guys. Very pointy, right? I bet those points help protect them. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? Said Hermit Crab. I would, said one of the spiky sea urchins. So the spiky sea urchin came and sat right by the shell. Do you see him? In August, Hermit Crab and all of his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. Do you see all that dark weed right there? Seaweed is a plant, my friends, that grows in the ocean. It's dark in here, said Hermit Crab. How dare said sea anemone. Dim means dark and you can't see. How gloomy it is, said starfish. How murky it is, said coral. Murky means kind of dark and cloudy. You can't see very well. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, said the sea urchin. So they're all wondering about this seaweed. Hmm. In September, hermit crab spotted some lanternfish swimming in the dark water. Do you see that lanternfish? A lanternfish lights up. It glows. It has a light around it. Do you see all the glowing around it? Would one of you be willing to light up our house? Said hermit crab. I would, said one of the lanternfish. And he swam over near hermit crab so that they could see. In October, hermit crabs found some smooth pebbles. Do you see all those pebbles? Those are like little bitty rocks. How sturdy you are, said hermit crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, said the pebbles. So he rearranged them. That means he moved them in a certain way. Look what he built, friends. Look what he built with the pebbles. Wow. In November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell had gotten too small again. Now, why did his shell get too small again? Can you tell? Look at his body. Has he gotten bigger? Yes. How am I going to leave my friends? They've all been helpful to him, right? What's he going to do? In December, Hermit Crab met another Hermit Crab, a little Hermit Crab. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I've outgrown my shell too, said Hermit Crab. I have to move on. You may have my shell if you like, but it says, you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. Isn't Hermit Crab a good friend? He has to move. He's got to find a new shell, but he doesn't want anything bad to happen to his friends. So the little hermit crab, she promises she'll take good care of all of his friends. Say snail, sea anemone, starfish, coral, sea urchin, 
And we also have some pebbles, right? Next January, Hermit Crab stepped out and he let Little Crab move in. The ocean floor looked wider than he remembered. That means bigger. But he wasn't afraid. Soon, he found the perfect house. A big, big shell for him to move in. Uh-oh. You know what he's going to want to do now? Did you say decorate? That's right, he's gonna decorate and make his shell fancier with sponges or barnacles or clownfish or sand dollars or eels. There are so many creatures in the ocean that he could pick. What a good book, A House for Hermit Crab. I hope you liked it, everybody. Thanks for listening. Come, oh, oh, I did forget you. Well, I am sorry, Mr. Teddy. Oh, sometimes I forget things. Yes, you can tell everybody. Go ahead. Well, I want to live in the ocean. And so I'm going to go to the beach and I'm going to try to live. I Mr. Teddy, you can't live in the water. Why not? We're going to go talk about this. I want to live in the water. 